I've been um married for some time, so whenever we run out of water, uh, I just run to my wife. And, uh, <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's the Demachettes React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we are back with another American reaction. Yes. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Africans don't drive cars. We actually have two methods of transportation. For those of us who are poor, we swing from tree to tree like Judge of the Jungle to get to our location. And then for the rich ones, they actually ride their wild animals. For example, the rich people in North Africa ride their camels. Oh. Those in South Africa ride their lions and cheetahs. And then those in East Africa ride on their elephants. And for those of us in West Africa, that's the rich ones in West Africa, they jump on the back of their baboons to get to oh, their location. Oh, not the baboons. So no, we don't Yo, have... Don't they do the elephant thing too? Like they be riding the top of the elephants too? Elephants yeah, and the, 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 the rich ones, though. The rich ones. Child, they be <laughs> seen everywhere. They be seen everywhere. I love my sarcasm. Yeah, you just depend like... on the wildlife for transportation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We actually don't have internet in Africa, so I'm going to tell you a secret on how we get internet to be able to do she our TikToks. So every I end did. of the week, uh, our community chief priest comes to every family in the community and then does some incantations, stab his staff three times, blow on something, and then all of a sudden, Ooh. the internet pops up on your phone. Ooh. Ooh. I told you guys! You just got <laughs> In Africa, guys, I told you, I told you. Bro, what? about to go watch us on YouTube. <laughs> Man, wait, what? Now she's going to watch us on YouTube. Now she can watch us on YouTube, bro. Because we have like, you know, what, what, um... 12% of this channel has Africans on it. You know, that's they, a big that's a, that's people a big, be, they be doing a lot. a lot of blowing. They do, so obviously. Just, I mean, they must be because, um, without that blowing, then you won't get that. The connection. Let's see if the Democrats reacted. Did they react? I think so. <laughs> I love her sarcasm. Do you guys have ice cream in Africa? No, we don't have ice cream in Africa, but anytime we need something refreshing and creamy to drink, we just go straight to the cow ranch and pick a milking cow, then squeeze out milk directly from its tits into our mouth and drink Ew. it. And that's how we survive without ice cream oh. in Africa. Oh, okay. With the ice yeah. cream in her hand, see? Stop playing with them. That's what she's saying. Do you have stuffed animals in Africa? No, we don't have stuffed animals in Africa. We have real animals. Oh. Over here, parents get their children, baby animals, to play with as toys. For example, the poor families get their children, baby goats or baby sheep, to play with. And then the rich families get their children, baby rhinos or baby elephants. Oh, that's a little dangerous. No, we're not, though. To become it's a little pets. dangerous. For those of us adults who just want to have a feel of comfort and warmth from an animal, we go straight to the lion's den and hug the female lion. Yeah! That's how Not the lion's den! Without stuffed animals in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. the sarcasm at the end, yeah. Do you guys have technology in Africa? Oh, look at all No, we actually don't have technology pill. in Africa. Is that a really don't know what that is. But anytime we have difficulty in doing stuff physically, or our intelligence fails us. We just do a chant and summon the spirit of the Black Panther. Mm. And then that spirit is going to possess us and manifest through us. Yes. And then we are able to do stuff physically fast. Yes. Super fast. Faster than an average human being. Ooh. And then we now exhibit high IQ. Like super high IQ. And this saves us a lot. Not low IQ. Super, super high man. IQ. Stop playing. A lot of manpower. And that's how we survive without technology. In Africa, so yeah. Man, <laughs> come up with this stuff. man, oh man. <laughs> Do you have air conditioners in Africa? No, we don't have air conditioners in Africa. But whenever the weather gets really hot and we begin to sweat profusely, the community chief priest gathers all the elephants in the community at the village square and then gives them a treat and gets them to flap their ears. What? <gasps> Sister, sister. Okay. 
this, if, this if, had this to be is an beyond... American who asked this question. Oh, some. Yeah, and I some, say yeah. that because that's how we felt about uh, what Germany and some places was like. Why y'all don't have air conditioning? No, nah, they really was out there. T- yeah, dealing it's, with it's the a heat. colder climate. Oh, was it? No, no, no. Germany. I remember one time there was in a conversation talking about you know what we're oh, gonna have to Europe. take up. Y'all, um, advice on them air conditions because we the just got UK. a heat wave. Yeah, the UK. Something like that. Yeah, with the air conditioning because the climate is changing. So that had to be American because I didn't know. I thought everybody had air conditioning. You can stop believing you everything y'all see on social media now. That she putting it out there. It's the elephant ears is flapping for yeah. the AC. Yeah. Yeah. That would be a lot of weird. Yeah, yeah. is circulated throughout the community. The faster they flap their ears, mm. the cooler the breeze. Ooh. And that's how we survive without air conditioners in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Africa does not have electricity. What we do is oh, every end of the week, the oldest witch in our community goes to the top of the highest mountain in Wakanda and then summons the god of thunder, Madioha. When he strikes with thunder and lightning, she then captures the lightning in bottles and distributes it to families across the community. So that's how we survive without electricity in Africa. We depend on lightning Yeah. from the God of Thunder. Yo, and you know how difficult that is to catch the thunder in the bottle? Oh, my God. Oh, man. Mm. It, like, Do you survive? I'm just saying, like, once, you, once it's caught, you have electricity, you can bring it back home. You're going to be in the hospital. At least they could take it from <laughs> the hospital bed and bring it to the people. I'm just saying. Somebody lying. Africans can't speak English. In fact, we don't know any words in English language. Whenever the need arises for us to speak in English, we just close our eyes and summon the spirit of our ancestors who were alive during the colonial era. And then their spirit is going to possess us. So we just open our mouth and speak our language and it automatically translates into English language. So no, Africans can't speak English. So... And, and these are people who's asking these questions that only know English, don't know a lick of Spanish, don't know a lick of French, don't know any of the other languages. But they may not be able to speak it, but they can see it. All they have to do is close their eyes and envision the word in that dark space. Mm. And you can even make it any color you want. Mm, it's purple right now. See? Oh, mine's yellow. Say <laughs> <laughs> yeah in English. You know, never mind. I'll ask the ancestors. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. This is genius. Do you all live in touched huts? So we all know Africa is a very big not jungle. Not only here to poor people. So not all of us can actually afford to live in touched huts. The houses. only people that Come can on, afford man. to live in huts in Africa are rich people. For those houses. of us who are poor, we just sustain That's ourselves in the jungle mm-hmm. and live wherever we find ourselves. Sometimes we sleep under banana or plantain trees. Mm. Sometimes we sleep on top of palm trees or iroko trees the, the bigger trees. the tree the bigger the family size oh, and then sometimes we also it. sleep in the lion's den beside not the, the lion, lion depending on wherever we find ourselves not the lion. and then like um, those in northern africa we not are lucky you. because those mm. ones run to the pyramid of egypt to sleep every time it's night time so aside from those in northern africa the rest of us actually just live in the jungle and sleep oh, wherever no. we find ourselves she live in a nice so, jungle yeah. down there yeah these are the people who didn't make it out of their backyard yeah. they um wondering what's going on in all these other continents mm. and these other locations that they didn't even think they don't watch the demo shits react I, i'm gonna just stop right at that they didn't even think like you all know there's no water in africa we don't have water so Change there is something we do. It's a big secret, but I'm going to let you on on how Change we survive everything. without water. You barely recognize. First of all, there's this festival we call the Kalago Festival. It happens every ending of the month across Africa. It's called the same across Africa. We speak the same language. Of course, we're, the, we're a country, so of course, um, it's the same name. So yeah, in that festival, all the men gather the women together in the community, and there are like ten to twenty drums placed at the center of the village square. And then detail. the men play, you know, when I say drums, I mean like open-ended drums where you can pour in stuff. And then the men now, you know, play music while the women take turns. Women and girls take turns to spit into these drums. Oh. These very huge, large drums. And then they'll keep spitting 
until the drum is full. While the they whole speak, community they chant, of women. They chant our sacred <gasps> chant. Oh. And then when the drum is full, they put like two pieces of alum. I don't know why they do that, but what they do. They put like two pieces of alum in it. And then it settles for two days. And we just go take turns and fetch. You have like your bottles to fetch. I use this bottle to fetch like some and stock my fridge. So that's what I've been drinking until the month this ends. This is yours. Oh, I'll <laughs> you again. This is so, yours. Right? Oh. That's basically how we survive without water. So that's basically what we drink. We drink our our community spits, like spits from our. So the person that commented this, I've been um, I've been um, married for some time. So whenever we weren't out of water, uh, I just run to my wife. And, uh, <laughs> she the, filled the, me up. The person that commented is <laughs> like, y'all don't know nothing about the Nile River. At least. At right? least, I mean, come on now. Huh? Where do you think water come from? How much water y'all think they got on the earth? Oh, y'all don't want with water. Oh. It must, must be. Must be. Must be. Dang, bro. Me too, women. I even spit too sometimes, but it's not all the time I join them. But yeah, sometimes when I, I feel like you know, I have a lot of phlegm, I go and spit Not a descri and description. Own, just oh to help God. the community and to help save our lives since we don't have any wow. source of water. Wow. So this is even the spit. So this is my own share. Yeah. I have some more in the fridge. Oh, so yeah. When you come to Africa, you just ask them to take you to the Kalago drums, so you can fetch the drums. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Although I know she was being so like, Why doesn't it ever rain in Africa? Rain does not fall in Africa because our sky is pink. So anytime we need water, we just gather together at the community square and cry in a bowl. We cry our eyes out as hard as we can. And then the bowl is going to be filled with our tears, and that's what we use as water. So yeah, it doesn't rain in Africa because we have a pink sky. Yeah. They they haven't watched Man, a thunderstorm in Africa, huh? Obviously not, bro. Child, look, they scared us through this video. Is like, I understand ignorant questions, right? But my boy, it it, it don't rain, really. Child, really. Look. Um, what is weather, Alex? That's his name, Alex. Yeah, Alex. Yeah, Alex what's, right? what's, what's what weather? is weather <laughs> for ten thousand? For ten thousand? Because <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you have shoes in Africa? Look no, we shoes. don't have shoes mm -hmm. in Africa. But anytime we want to wear something to protect our feet, we go straight to the forest and cut off a large piece of bark from a tree, slightly larger than this one, that hurt. and then we poke two holes on both ends of the bark. And then cut off the string from the center of a banana leaf and attach them on these holes to use them as ropes. Oh. And then we now place the back under the sole of our feet oh, no. and tie the ropes across our legs. Mm -hmm. And that's how we survive without shoes oh, no. in Africa. I couldn't do that. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Give me one of them shoes in the back. <laughs> yeah, they work. They work. How do you charge your phone? So you already know there is no electricity in Africa. We depend on lightning from the God of Thunder and it's quite difficult to use lightning to charge our phones. So what we do is every time we have to charge our phones, we go to the community river filled with oh, hippos the community. and the community then we pick a hippo and insert this end of the cable into the hippo's butt and put this other part of the cable into that's your phone. No, no, no that's, that's good. That's good. So when they finally visit Africa and their electronics are dying, you know, cell phones, laptops, they don't want to charge the camera because they might be they vlogging. They know where to go. Find you a hippo. Find you a hippo. Plug it. Find plug it hippo. in, plug it in. <laughs> plug it in. Then one minute, your phone will be fully charged. And it's so fast because the community hippos bought emits so much high voltage Ooh. that it charges the phone super fast. That is exactly what I did this morning and I got my phone fully charged. And so that's how we charge our phones. Wow, she's so informative. So wow. informative. She's yeah. good. She's gonna help us on our trip. Who? We're we don't we, we don't need to know, see? We going find Yeah, we don't phone. need to know where to charge our phones, love. This is not our questions. <laughs> This is not our <laughs> question. We're helping them understand where to we charge their phone. We've been, we've been, we've been in, we've been in conversation with Africa. Y yeah, we, so we, 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 we have fine. African cousins. Yeah, we know where okay, to charge. We, we, we our didn't phone. host it everywhere. We, we, we just, good. we just needed somebody to say it. Yeah, we good. Find the hippo. <laughs> Africa is not a continent. Africa is a country. Oh, we gosh. have fifty-four towns and villages, and our capital city is Wakanda. 
so yeah we are so close to each other that's why we understand each other and we speak the same language in fact going from nigeria to ghana is a 10 minute walk and then going from like kenya to south africa is like a one hour drive so yeah africa is not a continent it's a beautiful country imagine the person coming to africa and then they finally understand how far Nigeria is, mm. and they just get on. Going. Nigeria from South Africa, huh? right? Just they just start walking. They just go. They gonna be walking for the rest of their days. And then they need to charge their phone because their phone about to they die. They gonna find a hippo. Oh Lord! That's... And they need some water. They gonna find the community drums. She said. No, that that's for yeah, some water to drink. They gonna okay. find the community drums. Ooh, they got a we whole. Be, we be trying to save y'all. They got a whole blueprint. We be trying to save y'all. God, we... dog it. We be trying to save y'all. It what don't look feet like start we're hurting? Enough. What if their feet start hurting? They're going to go get them a tree bark. The tree bark and the banana the tree leaf. Thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Boy, y'all got everything y'all need. She giving it all. Bro, y'all like her she video. Up. Like it up. Wow. Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro. How the hell is there a country inside a country? Because y'all have Africa. Lesotho. And then y'all have South Africa. They, they don't even make sense. That's because you don't understand the structure, sweetie. Now, South Africa is a village in Africa. Yeah, Africa is a country, right? With 54 villages and the capital city, Wakanda. But then South Africa is the head village because it's the only village in Africa that has Africa in its name. Mm. So that's the structure. Mm. Africa, the country with 54 villages and Wakanda then South Africa <laughs> is made the head village of she Africa. added Wakanda. But you gotta hear yeah. something though, like the lady that asked this question was probably bold enough to ask what her friend thought. She was very bold. What her friend thought. So now she's able to go give this information to her friend and let her know that the movie they watched is the real deal. So that way going there they will know about the the ins and out of Child, Africa. look, we, we don't know it all, but we know that South Africa is a country within the <laughs> continent of Africa. And look, I was trying to be, I'm thinking, Bruh. I'm thinking she's talking about Lesotho. Y'all know Bruh. I say it wrong, but right. L-E-S-O-T-H-O. -E hey, listen, if you're not new to this channel, then you can understand the vibes that we're offering back to this video. I understand because some of these questions are like just not. We're trying to bridge the gap, but uh, trying to bridge the hippos and the charger pieces. Chai. Give me that's one it. more. Give me one more. I think more. that's it, babe. Give me one more. Oh, okay. there we go. Does North Africa count as Africa? No, sweetie. North Africa does not count as Africa because it's in Europe. Yep, North Africa is a country in Europe, right next to France. Yeah. I think they confuse South Africa with a region of Africa. See, I be trying to to put it together logically. This, this one, this one make the, this one give me pain behind my left eye. Child, because I'm like, what? Don't don't cut up too bad in the comment section, y'all. All fun, all games. Don't. Um, but we're gonna have to help. Some I of love these. her sarcasm though. Yeah, her sarcasm was on point. To me, this video was genius. Yes. If you yeah. ask me, she's she could be a comedian. She the can. one that don't laugh. For real. The one that doesn't just laugh. Just sell out all day. <laughs> just ask her questions. Yes. Just ask yes. her questions. Ask, ask her questions. Ask her way. Cause um yeah. man. <laughs> my favorite my favorite one was how they uh charge their phones. Mm -hmm. um, Mine was the water. And the water. And the water as well. And the shoes. Y'all yeah. the shoes was dope. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely go get you some shoes for free. Any kind you want. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. But she's enlightening the people, regardless. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a dumb question. You <laughs> yeah. get a uh, dumb answer. Well, girl. a smart answer. It was very smart how she constructed that. I think but, we call it genius. Well. Yes, yeah, very genius. Yeah. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way. Yes. As well as our join feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Send in your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.